the community have once again done what Valve have seemingly refused to do for many years now, and that is create an update. So this is the Tropic Crisis Protected Community-led update. Creators have come together to not only make maps, but also weapon skins, cosmetics, you know, the whole lot, and it's looking good. I can't lie. It's a South American themed update. I'm going to watch the trailer now. We're going to go through some of the new items. Then hopefully if I can get a slot on a server, we're going to play some Tropic Crisis. From what I've seen on Twitter, it looks very, very exciting. And, you know, just makes the heart yearn for an official Team Fortress 2 update once again. However unlikely that may be. Already it looks very good. Brazilian. Okay, I was wondering why it was green. <laughs> oh, okay, new power cosmetics already. I'm liking what I'm seeing, but I'm enjoying the vibes. Red team have got the Brazilian, and it seems blue team want said Brazilian. Look how good it looks, man. It looks phenomenal, and I can't wait to jump in and experience it myself. We're going to check out the website now and just um, see what they've got going on, really. So yeah, there's multiple pages. This is the first page. It's the announcement, you know, welcome to South America. Brazilium has been discovered and Manco CEO Saxon Hale has set a huge bounty on information about this rare element. As mercenaries travel to track it down, nefarious figures such as El Comandante and the Bolfuego Syndicate are also on the prowl. Armed with dangerous weapons and yummy yet deadly papayas. So yeah, these are the maps that we're going to be seeing on this um, collection. So the first one is Embargo, which is a payload map with some V-script elements, which I imagine will be very, very exciting. I'm liking what I'm seeing already. And then we've got Favela, another nice looking map based on the favelas of Brazil, I'm going to guess. Chachuria, I probably pronounce that terribly, but this also looks very cool. It's a King of the Hill map and Favela is a Koth Capture the Flag hybrid map. You can see um, Saxton Hale there as instead of Christ the Redeemer, which uh, I think is a worthwhile change personally. Um, and then we've got Patagonia as well, which is a more of an outdoors looking payload map, which uh, I'm looking forward to getting into as well. And then this is the one I've seen the most about, Salvador, a player destruction map. Again, looks very sick and overgrown. I've not actually seen much about this one, but this is the one in the uh, trailer. So, you know, it looks pretty good as well. And we've got the Workshop Cosmetic Collection with a very cool looking case. I don't know what this case is called, but it looks cool. Very cool. I like the uh, flowery shirt he's wearing. He looks very, very prepared for the South American weather. The demo set as well looks very cool. I'm going to say more traditional sort of vibes. Uh, the medic set. He's just chilling. Let him chill, man. He needs his chill. Don't don't worry about the scout there. The heavy set. He looks very, very cool. I'm getting heavy Rambo vibes. Just a, a big fan of that. That heavy, the head cosmetic especially looks very cool. The pyro set. I've already said it looks sick and it does. It's like a hazmat vibe i'm a fan the sniper set looks very cool as well i'm getting more traditional vibe from him but i like it and there's one more page yet to be released at time of recording but these are the unusuals and killstreak kits whatever it is it looks very cool using the power of brazilian and gunpowder i'm not sure what's different about the killstreaks but i'm here for it wall paints as well a lot of a lot of lovely war paints this is the tropic crisis set of course He's looking pretty cool, I must admit. I'm a big fan of the one on the minigun there. Is that a capybara war paint? That looks cool. I need to get the capybara war paint for sure. And then some custom UV war paints for specific weapons, which I'm a big fan of. I guess it's a, similar to the high roller, but that grenade lodge looks phenomenal, as does the minigun. Unusual weapon effects. To be fair, we do need some more of those. We haven't, <laughs> we haven't seen much in the way since they were introduced. And then, of course, more quests. What more could you need, man? Yeah, man, it's it's looking good. Everything I'm seeing is looking good. I imagine the next page might be weapons or something like that. Um, but by the time I'm recording this, it's not out yet. Stuff I'm very excited about. Let's quickly check out some of the cosmetics. I know we've seen most of them already, but I'm sure there's more we haven't seen. Whatever this is, a little a little snake. It's, ah, a little soldier snake friend. Okay, I can get behind that. I mean, that's very cool, and he's in his little soldier outfit as well. I like that. Uh, Operators Oscillators, what is this? Is this a... Ah, it's like a, a PDA reskin. Nice. We're, we desperately need one of those, in my opinion. Two amazing cosmetics right here. Firstly, the Incognitoed. Look at him. Wonderful. Amazing. Get that in the game, Valve. And then a nice shirt for the pyro. Love it. Yeah, he, he be styling. I like it. 
We have got three powers on the side, but that's fine. Um, which one's this? This is Salvador. Okay, I'm liking what I'm seeing. I'm guessing that's Al Comandante there. Um, yeah, no time to dilly dally. Got a nice VW there. Little beetle. Sorry, pal. Is that a unique pistol? No. <laughs> I see if it was one of the new weapons, but it is not. I know where you live. Oh god. Ugh. Save me, medic! Lol. WM1 mate, it just works. It just works. I'm actually cooking. This is crazy. What a cool van as well. Oh, I got out WM1. Oh man. <laughs> They out outplayed me, man. Now this this map this map's looking great though. Loading a very not suspect truck onto a boat, as one does. I'm liking the environment. You know we've got the cool S. Can't forget the cool S. We've got a nice little beach we can. Uh... Oh my God! Fucking hell! Christ Almighty! That was quite uh, quite the uh, quite the not a great time. <laughs> Oh my god. And there's a parrot as well. Can't forget the parrot. Owned. It's down here. Brazilian, I'm guessing. I like the green. It's a nice green. Oh, this is a very nice area as well with the Redmond and Blue Talk, I'm guessing. Very cool. Didn't even know this part existed, but no, it looks fancy. Where's all sort of the guys at, man? There. There's a guy. Get him. Kick his ass. Got him. Good hustle, boys. Good hustle. Golden weapon. I want it. Jeez, look how cool that is. It's my own. It's my very own Australian, guys. I earned it myself, I promise. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just walking, boys. I'm just wandering. Oh, God. <laughs> Fucking owned. Oh, my God. Book it, man. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You st you just, I'm just stunting. Oh, good God. Put a sentry gun there, that's very rude. There we go. Who's hurting my boy? No, I was reloading! No! That's the thing about the black box, man. Those, those three rockets, they really make you um, suffer if you're not used to using it, like me. I don't use it in MBM. I just prefer the bog standard rocket launcher, man. I just think it's epic. Just look at it, man. It's iconic. Look at that. Highest kill streak 5. I am the greatest gamer to ever grace Brazil. But nice. No, this is a nice looking map. I'm excited to see what other maps I've got in store, really. I fucking cooked. I can't lie. <laughs> so yeah, first map. Salvador. Very fun. I'm not really a fan of play destruction, I can't lie, but it only comes around once in a blue moon anyway, so I can sort of, you know, deal with it. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Um, and I'm looking forward to see what we've got next. I'd love if something like this became an official TF2 update because the community have been doing amazing things with their community updates in the past. And unfortunately, it looks like relations between the community and Valve have kind of soured um, recently. So it looks very unlikely that this will get official endorsement. That being said, it's very cool. And I wish the two, um, the two parties could forgive one another and, uh, you know, work together again because, you know... The game is still very popular. It's got a very solid player base. And I think, you know, if the if the two teamed up, you know, the community love this game and um, Valve would like money, I imagine. I don't see why it's not a win-win, to be honest. You know, set some boundaries early on, you know, and just get to work. I think it would be very cool. But I know I'm just yelling into the void here, but get on the point, boys. I've, I'm pretty sure I've played this map before in a season, Alanda. I'm getting fucked. I'm getting absolutely beansed. I don't know where the health kits are. 
I got I got beamed pretty pretty hard there. This map feels familiar. I think I have played it before or a similar version. Yeah, I've played this map before, hundred percent. I don't know why it didn't click me when I saw the um, trailer. To be honest, unless I've played a different version of it, but. It, now that I'm looking at it, now that I'm playing it, it does seem very familiar. I think I've been on the other side of this map. I think that's why I'm not recognising it at the moment. There's some health there as well. I could have just grabbed that before I got absolutely roasted. How? Why are you doing this to me, man? Oh, I'm fucked. Um, I'm, actually, I'm actually beansed. Ooh. Oh, thank God he was using the direct hit with no splash damage. Otherwise, I'd have been finished. Oh, I could have fucking air shot that Donnie if I actually had rockets. Nice. Epic. Okay. The Monroe Doctrine. All right. I'm liking what I'm seeing. I know that's a reference to American policy involving South America. I don't know the exact um, details of it, but it looks cool. <laughs> I think this is just the standard rocket launcher. Um, it feels like it. It is a reskin after all, so I imagine it is. We'll give it a go. It looks cool. That's all I can say. It looks cool. Lol. I got a kill with the Monroe Doctrine. Let's go. Ah, I couldn't fire fast enough. I could have at least killed the Pyro, I think. But it was not to be. Mm, yeah, this map is less epic, but that's purely down to the fact I've played it before. It is still a very cool map. I like the vibes. South America vibes are very nice. Okay. Nice. This is on the fuming snake. Pretty cool. I like the design. Does remind me of the Tomislav, but it's unique enough to uh, warrant being its own, its own weapon, you know? Mice is getting absolutely demolished. Ooh. Okay. I whiffed every single shot there. How? That was some terrible showing from me. Oh my god. Go, Scout, go. You can do it. I believe in you. Come on, man. You're almost there. Ah, oh, fell at the final hurdle. So sad. Give us a new map. Come on. Give us a new map. Fuming. Oh, it was a custom pistol that guy was using. It just l looks very similar to the standard pistol. Okay. The Craftsman. Okay. I hate playing Scout as well. Um, yeah, I'm not going to stay on Scout for long. Just looking at the pistol, it looks very nice. And uh, the Ballester. Fucking hell. <laughs> Christ almighty. Get me off of him right away. I like what I've seen so far. Um, I obviously don't know what weapons are reskins and what weapons aren't. That's probably going to be explained in the next um, news update, I guess. But, uh, you know, just vibes, really. I'd be very happy if this was an official TF2 update with all the quests, you know, all the bells and whistles. I'd be very, very pleased. So um, they've done a good job, man. They've done a good job. And I like what I'm seeing already. This is looking good. Yeah, man, this is looking very cool. Maybe this is El Comandante then. Whoa, this casino looks sick. Rojo's Casino. Damn, this map looks phenomenal. There's a little robot guy who you can attack. Beat the shit out of him. Fucking owned. <laughs> now nah, this looks phenomenal. This looks sick. I love what I'm seeing, man. I love what I'm seeing. And this way, I imagine. And follow the arrows. Yeah. Um, embargo. I'm a fan. Very cool looking truck. I imagine that's part of the payload. Yeah, my reloads do me in once again. Can't fire fast enough.
I feel like my shots should have hit more than they did there. What's that? It's a tank. Why don't we? Why can't we use that? I have a feeling it's more than wet paint. I also did not understand what that Mockbro said, but um, we'll we'll rock with it. I like that they're holding health kits. That's very kind of them. Damn. Beans once again. It's cool though. It's a cool map. I'm a fan. I like the scenery as well. Very cool. But yeah, this entire this casino man, it looks phenomenal. Your time is up, fuck man. My time is also up. Yeah. What the fuck? We actually have the tanks now. Nice. Lava. Okay. Yeah, this looks very cool. That chandelier, look at the the bang holes. Oh my god. Yeah. Very cool map. Ooh. <laughs> Suicide's badass. That's a master sneak maneuver though. As soon as we go out of the, the right site, they lose object permanence and you don't exist anymore. No man, the set dressing is lovely. Especially this part here with the fucking wall of lava. Very cool. Sick. Yeah. They, they smashed this map. What's with the splash damage radius of that web? It's tiny. Like, normal rocket launcher, those, those donnies are dead, right? I mean, <laughs> maybe I'm just terrible at the game, but sure... Oh, it's a direct hit, that's why. That makes much more sense. <laughs> Does this kill you? It lights you on fire. Nice touch. We're going back to the rocket launcher, boys. I, def I was wondering, like, why is my splash damage not hitting anyone? That's why. It's the direct hit. A real spy? I don't know. No. I got him. I killed the fuck man. Great news. Whoa! That is that is a sight to behold. Oh my god. I'm about it, man. I fuck with it. I'd swear my allegiance to that man any day. Oh, it is right behind me, actually. <laughs> ah. Interesting. I do like the map, though. It is very cool. It's just a cool map, man. It's just such a cool map. Ah, they did it. It was paint. Never mind. I. It was paint. So, yeah, that was Tropic Crisis. A little look at the maps and um, what the community been working on. I'm a huge fan of it. Give it a go for yourselves. I'll leave links to all the resources down in the description down below so you can check it out for yourself. I recommend doing it. It is very fun. And maybe one day Valve will uh, update TF2 or work with the community. One of the two. But yeah. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch can food took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.